Hello, everyone. Welcome Hello. back. We're going to stay on time today, somehow or other. I don't know how, but we're going to manage. <laughs> we have four teams tonight. Four teams vying for the championship of game number 230, by the way. So, Wait. room number one, Carolyn, Janine, Ron, Kevin, and Gail. Oh, here comes well, Kat. Since we sat there and talked about physical issues and getting old and all that, our team name is Let's Get Through Trivia Before Our Team Fades Away. <laughs> I was in favor of quit before our team dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Cat's uh, here. We're going to put her. Let me put her here. Okay. So Avi, Peggy, Wendy, Rob. Rob is not a cat. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I think so, there's evidence to the that video that the video that, of the guy in the oh that was the funniest thing I I've seen in yeah. years. We were looking for a raccoon, but they didn't have that. Even Rob is not a freak you out. Too. Rob has started celebrating his birthday a little bit early. Is it his birthday? Gosh. Tomorrow. Oh, we really? did not know this. Good I didn't job, know this. Cat. Good job. Yeah. That means. Thanks for letting the cat out of the bag, cat. You, can, you <laughs> can't trust the skeptic zone investigators. They just make up shit. That's right. Okay. So we all know what's happening tonight. Jim, yeah, Carl, thing. Vincent, Jane. Uh, that's uh, number three. We're number three. What about number two? We already got two. It's Rob is not a cat. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, hey cat, where, cat, where is the tiara? Oh, it, it's over there. <laughs> I'm doing. You had a beautiful photo of yourself with your tiara. You look totally like you should have been one of the. Crazy uh, attracts crazy. Crank magnetism. Yeah, yeah, cat. You look like something that could have been uh, made into an oil painting. You would have been one of the Windsor, oh, Windsors well, or something. Thank you. That's that's, that's one, one of my thing. fancy tiaras. So. Yeah, it was very, very elegant looking. Uh, Alan, yeah. Faith, Ramirez, oh. Celia, and Kat. It is up here for eight more months. How are we going to vote? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Eight what? more months? Wow, does that mean? Space station. <laughs> the space station. Oh, oh, they, they can mail it in. They can mail it in. All right. And from space air mail yeah, they can mail it in the mail mail. Will bring it back they, drop it, they reach out and they drop it into a little air paper airplane and it goes <laughs> well as long as they vote correctly <laughs> well those three how many votes is it we're talking about two two how two? many are there? And that might be enough one for, one for each side and they're going to fight up there where yeah. are they registered in, in Florida? Oh, that would be, that yeah. would be yeah. funny of course, lots of the, 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 there must have been lots of uh, uh, astronauts who were up at the space station during an election in their particular country. So it's must, it, I presume it's a problem. I think they managed they the must have you guys have, like, were supposed proxy. to be up there for eight days. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't planning. They may not have, they, they may not, not have gotten their applied for the absentee ballots. <laughs> These yeah. are biblical days. I'm Jamie sure. told me he gets to vote, so ask him when when he's back next week. Oh, I heard, how is he doing? He's he's sick today, but he's hoping to be back next oh, week. Is he recovering about. from? Yeah, it, it, it's they're they're still diagnosing it. So, so um, I saw at the DNC they had like a whole voting thing that was people who were outside of America, you yeah. know, who were, who were outside. So that's really cool. Yeah. I guess yeah. that works. Okay. So we yeah, have when I was, when I was in, in Peace Corps, we got our ballot to the Peace Corps office. They, they shipped them all together. <laughs> all, all of, all of our, all of our ballots to the, some official election place in DC by the Peace Corps office there. So anyway, and my we girlfriend were... in France is actually organizing um, uh, Democrats in in France. Uh -huh. Good for her, cool. yeah. 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 yeah, we. Well, you know, Jimmy Carter is a hundred years old, and he said that 
he's going to stay alive at least not long enough to vote against Trump. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'd love Jimmy Carter. He was my president. He's the yeah. first time I've yeah. ever voted for. Yeah, good for him. Yeah. Yeah. What, so, what, uh, uh, yeah, what day so is he... what day is early voting in his state? Georgia. <laughs> yeah. So Jimmy Carter was involved with the cleanup at the at a reactor accident uh, uh, back in the early fifties. Three Mile Island. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, not, no. 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 Uh, before that, in, 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 in Chalk River, Canada. Back when he was a nuclear engineer, Canada. Yeah, oh. yeah. So that guy. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so. Obviously, it has cruelly shortened his life. So I just yeah. want to remind you guys about the curse that the group has, and we should shut the hell up about Jimmy. Oh, Car oh yeah, sorry, Thank Peggy. You, Peggy. It is your <laughs> curse. <laughs> curse of Peggy. Sorry, we weren't yeah. talking about him. We were talking yeah. about we were talking about Trump. somebody else named that. We're talking about Trump. Yeah, yeah, that never works. Okay, so yeah, my my uh, yeah, well. Four teams tonight. Let's get through trivia before our team fades away. Versus Rob is not a cat. Versus Crazy yeah. Attracts Crazy Crank Magnetism. Yeah. Versus Up Here for eight more months. How are we going to vote? And Faith has given us a link to how they would vote in Faith Space or Romero did. All right. Do we just so, have four? Yeah. So okay. our leaders tonight are going to be Carolyn. And then it is, wait, let me look at my other. Peggy. Peggy, and then Vincent, and then Ellen. Hope you guys are all ready. You should have, all have your powers already. So that would mean right. we're starting off with Carolyn. Okay. So I wrote this a while ago as an emergency in case nobody else had not when she called on us. So it might be a little bit easy then, you know, sorry, but I hope it's fun. Okay. <laughs> so it's random famous people with a mystery theme. And here we go. I just said, here we go. Um, he is a pioneer of modern vertical skateboarding and can Completed the first documented 900 skateboarding trick in 1999 and is regarded as one of the most influential skateboarders of all time. Oh, uh, don't do this to me. This American journalist, news anchor, and author started as a reporter on a major cable news network in 1996 and currently serves as one, is the, one of the principal anchors of the network. She put the numbers, the Roman numerals, instead of the... Okay, <laughs> That's I, that. I thought I'd be sneaky and yeah, hope it works. Words. I started yeah. writing, writing out the, the number and word form. Okay, this it. actress singer began her career as a child actress on a popular TV sitcom in 1989. She has appeared in the movies Dr. Doolittle, The Princess Diaries, and Revenge of the Bridesmaid. She meant, she received many awards, including five yeah, NAACP yeah. Image Awards <laughs> and two Kids' Choice Awards. Can we mute everybody? No. Why? Because there was noise. I'm going to mute Wendy. It's coming from Wendy. <laughs> okay, number four. She is an American musician, singer, and songwriter, and her music incorporates elements of rock, pop, country, folk, and blues. A former music teacher, she recorded background vocals for Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Jimmy Buffett, and Don Henley. She released her first hit song in 1994. Yes, I am showing my age. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Number five. This stand-up comedian and, comedian and actor has starred in Scary Movie 3, Soul Plane, The Secret Life of Pets film franchise, and the Jumanji film franchise. franchise. His first stand-up album, I'm a Grown Little Man, was released in 2009. He was set to host the 2019 Academy Awards, but withdrew two days later after homophobic tweets he made had resurfaced. Okay. Number six. 
This former professional basketball player, coach, and executive in the NBA was regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He is the only person in NBA history to be named Rookie of the Year, Most Valuable Player, Finals MVP, All-Star MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. In row seven. This actress made her debut in 2001 in the family film Holiday in the Sun, in the family film Holiday in the Sun. Her breakout role was as Michaela Baines, the film Transformers in 2027. That should say in the film, sorry. And I wrote this a while ago, I had to look up the answers. <laughs> like, okay so um this british adventurer is known for a number of wilderness survival tv series in the uk and us such as popular tv sh a tv show where he is left stranded in a region with his film crew documenting his efforts to survive and find a way back to civilization Number nine, born Stephen Dimitri Giorgio, this English song singer songwriter has sold more than 100 million records and more than 2 billion streams. His musical style consists of folk, pop, rock, and later in his career, Islamic music. And finally, This British singer and songwriter <laughs> has won four Grammy Awards. His 1991 eponymous al debut album was met with critical and commercial success. A 1994 song of his, of his peaked on the Billboard Hot 100 after featured in Batman Forever. His facial scarring is due to a type of lupus. Any questions? Are there so any a, a theme to this too? Is that like a bonus point if you get the theme or... There was, there's no bonus point. Bonus is just the Let's go to the room. Got I got Celia. Let's go you to the room. just got it. <laughs> I think it's easy enough, honestly. That I got right. That's well, the let's bonus, go, Let's right? go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and say so, Well, if you get the theme, it may help how you. How do we? Questions. Let's go. How do go to our rooms, please. Thank Let you. Carolyn figure it out. You guys, calm down. Okay. Well, um, yeah, Rob's doing it for me, so thank you. <laughs> Carolyn, you should do it. I'm not being invited anywhere. That's because because really? you're a bad girl for showing up late. Um, I'm, I'm you're sorry. On team. You're you're on team. Ah, oh, you Canadians, you and your son. My old my I just very go, old I just bounced. had an accident that I had to clean up. So that's okay. Oh I... Kat, yes. you're gonna be oh, on yeah. team. What did I say? Oh. I think I'm on team four. Mm, yeah. Okay. My screen had reset. What'd you say, Caroline? Did you say you just figured it out? I don't figure anything out because Rob did this. Um, you so how do I bounce? I go, I go to room to room by going. Is that under more? Because I'm not seeing. Yeah, it. it's probably under more. I think they've moved a lot of them. So go to uh, more okay. and you see breakout rooms, and you'll see there's on the right hand side close all rooms. It's bright red. Okay. So, and that's how you open all rooms is there's a little button that says open all rooms. Okay. So close all rooms is how I get everyone back. And you got a two minute, a two minute calling and you can go to each of these join. Do you see where it says join? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yep. In a little bit. Sounds fun. Okay. The wolf blitzer, huh? Yeah. Oh, I guess we got the theme. Yeah, I think so. I was wondering if that was it. And I don't know. Do you guys have number one? Tony Hawk? Yeah, it was Tony yeah. Hawk, yeah. Yep. yeah. We're on to number We're on four. four. We're on four. Wow. Did you get four, uh, Kevin? No, I sh I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who it would be first song in 94 
now that I know this theme, I've got I've got one of these wrong. I thought I, I thought it was Stevie Wonder, but I guess it's not. Which one? Nine. That well, it could be. Movie. We haven't got there yet. I know, well, but that's just the right oh, theme. Not much of an animal on Stevie Wonder. Oh, yeah. okay. It's Cat Stevens, anyways. I oh, think. Oh, it is. But, yeah, it is Cat Stevens. Yeah. I didn't know he was British, but okay. Okay, number four. We put him on number nine. Number nine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Cat okay. Stevens. C A T. C A T. Oh, wow. And number four. He has a song called Wild World. Ooh, baby, baby, it's Wild World. Yep. <laughs> That's a great song. Okay, There's... number five. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Should know, but I don't know. Who's the guy oh. that has the first two letters? The first name is two letters. Katie. K oh, CK? It's not CK. Yeah, what's that CK's that? last name? Um, He goes by, that's his, he goes by his last oh, name. Oh, it said something CK, that's right. But yeah. it's not an animal? No. Okay. I just couldn't remember what the other Louis, name was. Louis CK. Ah, okay. So that was who it was, yeah. And he yeah, had other a, problems. Yeah. A homophobic text would be a wonderful. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it's six. Who's I, the I'm guy? Who's of... the guy named Cat? The black guy named Cat, the comedian. That's oh yeah, Cat Williams, the, isn't it? Cat, Cat Williams, K A T. Yes, for number. I think that's him for number five. Cat for Williams. number five. Yeah, I've never heard of him. I haven't either. He's pretty funny. Yeah, he's yeah. Cat. Yeah. William? Cat Williams, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the name of his special because he's he's a little yeah, guy. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Is six Larry Bird? It must be that fits. I yeah. didn't think he was an executive, but maybe he was. Is it B Y R D? That's B I R D. No, B -I -R -D. Just regular Larry and regular bird. And nothing about him. It, he's definitely ordinary. one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Made yeah. a in the he Hollywood fits everything. I just didn't yeah. know he was ever an executive. Oh, in the sun. I well, never with a team. Either. He was an executive with a team, not of the entire NBA. Yeah, I just what, didn't realize he'd even been an exact. I thought he just retired and disappeared. I never heard of Seven. I don't know any of those. 2001. I haven't really watched any of the Transformers. Oh, stuff, so. eight is. um. I remember those shows. It's not Bear Grylls. Is he yeah. British? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. He is British also? Okay. Don't ask me how to spell his name, but. Bear. First name Bear, last name G R Y L I S, I think. Something like might, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It might be L I S S, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. They're close. Yeah. They don't count spelling, so I don't care. Huh. We've got nine. What about ten? Nineteen ninety-one. Uh, that's Seal. Ah, uh, that's it. That's his name. S E A L. Yeah. 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 Because he's got Why? the facial yeah, scarring. Yeah, that they gave it to me. Yeah. That's a home. Like, I had a picture. I couldn't remember the name. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. So what are we missing now? Four and seven, seven and four. Seven and four. Seal had a big hit song. You, you all heard it before. I can't remember how it goes. Kiss from a Rose, I think it was called. Yeah. No idea. So yeah, kiss from four. kiss from a rose.
no idea on four or whatever the other one is. Yeah. And seven. And seven. Who's the woman who did um, Christian music before she became a pop star? Amy? Something Amy. like that. Okay, um, is there anybody named Dove? Named what? Dove. Dove. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of names of animals. Well, who's the Who's the Who's the girl from Alaska? What, um, Carolyn? She fits in that. I'm just list. checking in. How is everybody doing? I, get two more go. I think you can give us two minutes and we'd be all right because I think we're at a point where we probably don't know the <laughs> last. Okay. I think so, we've got what we're going to get. Who, who's the Who's the blonde girl from Alaska? Who became a hit singer, and From she's Alaska. living. She's still living her. I car. don't know Alaska. Sarah Palin. Uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> it was a blonde. She just acted it. A blonde singer from Alaska. Now you got us confused. Doug, a few... How about somebody named Raven? Isn't there somebody named Raven? We already we, we already have a Raven. Raven. Well, we have, we have two. Cat. We have two cats though. So, but they spell differently. Okay. Um. How about tuna fish? I was thinking of Jewel, tuna but that's fish? not an animal. No. Tuna. Jewel. She's from Alaska? Yeah. Oh, okay. Any robins that we're missing? Ooh, robin. A robin. That's a good one. Um, robin Thick would have been a great one put in here, but it's not one of these. Eagle. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dodo bird. Um, caterpillar. Lion. Any lions? Lizards. Where's Natasha Leon? How about any lizard? Isn't there a, a lizard guy? What's his name? Lizard. Oh, lizard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eddie? Is it Eddie Lizard? Eddie, Eddie, lizard. Eddie Izzard. That's just Izzard. Oh, yeah. I would he's a comedian. I, was, I thought yeah. he was a songwriter. No. Who's the guy who just dun 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 dun? dun Frankenstein? That's Edgar I, Winter. The two that we're missing are both women. Oh. So we need female animal names, huh? <laughs> Cheryl, how about Cheryl Crow? <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's, that's good. good. See? She, she did sing backup for a lot of people. I would go for number four for her, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, you grabbed it out of the I don't know, out of the animal thing. So we need another woman. Actress. Holiday in the Sun. I didn't see Transformers. I did, but I it was so long ago. The I names if I even had it. It was a long time ago, too, though. Um, Not Halle Berry, no. No. Um, I'm going to go close up the house while you think. Yeah, why didn't I put Halle there rather than nobody? It's a well, Halle not much I, would rather it. Put, I would rather put somebody like um, Robin something. Robin yeah, something. At least it's an animal. Yeah, Robin. I can't think of anybody named Robin except Robin Quivers, but she's not the one. And Robin Thick, but he, she's yeah, not a guy. Robin Williams and Robin. I can't even think of animal names. I'm yeah. Now I'm that really I have to, like... to pinning a blank. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close now. People were kind of stuck, but um, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to do it. Now. Yeah, it works. I think I, I think it should be enough time now, right? Either yeah. you you know or you don't at this point. Yeah, I think these are mostly. We're just guessing at names. Number seven. Sometimes we can guess them. Yeah. Okay. What are other female names that could be a first name? Arrow, Robin. What was the first one you said? Sparrow. Sparrow. I don't. I don't know of sparrows. You know. Ruby. Ruby. What do you think of Ruby? Ruby. Oh, Ruby's good. 
I just I'm just making up names. Ruby, Ruby, who's a Ruby that we know? Ruby Tuesday, but yeah, but Ruby that. isn't really an animal name. Like the animal no. that I'm thinking of is a Ruby crowned sparrow. You know, <laughs> Ruby Ruby crowned kinglet. It's like that's why it came to my mind. You know, chickadee. Um, Who was in Transformers? I can't think of. I didn't see it, but I know it was like an action um, movie. Yeah, I don't. Remember any female uh, roles in it? Fox. It's been, it's been years since I've seen it. Try, yeah, put Samantha Fox. It's probably wrong. Oh, Fox. Fox. Raccoon. Samantha Fox. Raccoon. Owl. Yeah, it could also be Vivian Fox, too. But, oh, put uh, that. It's better. Vivian, Vivian Fox. Fox is better. Is better. Yeah, Vivian's better. Samantha is more of a singer. Samantha B. Uh, that that's comedian? an animal, but I don't think she's quite an actress. Yeah. Well, and she's Canadian. Got to remember that, too. Well, we've got an we answer for Canadian. everything, which is always a good thing. Yeah, we have answers. Good job, know, they'll they'll be, be really good, good until we find out what the real ones are, right? I, I think we get about eight or nine. How is everybody else doing, Carolyn? Um, They're stuck on a couple. I thought this was easy did it well done carolyn see how easy that was she came up with that off the top of her head you guys so don't think that you have to come up with something complicated and that was that was fun because it was enough that we sort of knew most of them but not yeah the we, same with we us made educated guesses at two that we didn't want to show of mm -hmm. we couldn't okay. even get we didn't even get guesses on two of them. Is Rob chewing something? Oh, or is he, I'm not going to read all the... I don't need to go through it's all a the hairball. questions. I'm just going to read the answers <laughs> yeah. so that we Speed keep it, it going. We sure. want to keep it going, right? Keep yeah. it going. So number one is Tony Hawk. Yeah. Letter I. Number two is I, I. Wolf Blitzer. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. Worked it Number out. three is Raven Simone. Oh, oh Raven. Cosby Show. The Number four is Cheryl Crow. Oh, oh that's the one right. I couldn't remember. Oh, I couldn't remember her name. Number five. Okay, this gave people problems, and I apologize in advance, but Kevin Hart. Hart is a type of deer. <laughs> Yes. Oh, Male deer. I thought it was cat that. Like, that like if you've ever seen the, the bird Hartford, from the film up. That's yeah. what we if see. you've ever seen yeah. like the Hartford um no. whatever and it's got a big old deer on there. That's my, my wife why doesn't heart. doesn't like yeah. when I go in the that, other room and ask that her. Bit about the meaning of heart was the okay. was, was the obscurity that I actually managed to contribute. It's heart. To. It's heart. It's a deer. It's an animal. So I want okay. to ask my So going into number six. She likes Jumanji. Larry Bird. Can I talk? I am speaking. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> are all going to learn. Number this. six is Larry Bird. Uh huh. Number seven is Megan Fox. Oh, I hit the wrong first name. Yeah, we Megan tried Fox. to get Fox. Fox. Is no. Bear? I think it's pronounced Grillus. Grillus. Grills. Bear Grills. Grills. Yeah. Bear. Okay. Not, uh, uh, nine not nine is Cat Stevens. And number 10 is Seal, okay. which wow. is actually, yeah. his, it's his real, he was, that's his birth name. I mean, he's got five other names along with it, but I was surprised that Seal is actually a birth name, that's according to Wikipedia. His according to Wikipedia. So, not, so, so number eight sounds like two, two, two animals. Yes. Bear Girls. Bear girl is. <laughs> oh no! Oh, sorry. Girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but okay. there they are. G R Y L L I S. Now I, I have to come up with another emergency. That was the yeah. category. <laughs> Everybody needs an emergency. That was a yeah, good. Well, since you're not talking so anymore, uh, Carolyn, can I tell my story now? Yes. One sec, Carolyn. Yes. There's no I in grills. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Well, so Diane does not like to play trivia. Even when I think she knows something and I go ask her, she gets mad. 
So this yeah. time, I know she loves Jumanji, and we were thinking of that. And I said, who's who's the short black guy in Jumanji? She goes, Kevin Hart. So I come back, well, no, she can't be right, because that's not an animal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, well. You know I what? I thought it was Mark, Cat Stevens. I get Mark the also couldn't stand up. trivia. And every time I'd ask him a question, he'd be like, well, I don't know. Why, why did you do it? <laughs> and I was like, you know, join in. You don't have to be here. You can be in the other room. He never liked trivia. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Even either. when he knew the answers. <laughs> Some people are like that. Anyway, very good, Carolyn. Scores, okay, baby, so scores. I hope it was fun. It was fine. It I was loved fun. it. Thank very you, Very fun. Okay, so let's get through trivia before our team fades away. Hey. Rob is not a cat. Hey. hey. Crazy attracts crazy crank magnetism. Ten. We used to always say, don't put it in crazy. Um, up here for eight more months. How am I going to vote? You got 10. Damn. All right. Okay, well, a little harder. <laughs> thanks to Faith, I will give her yeah. the credit. Most and Kat and some of it. We went from oh, Samantha yeah. Fox to Vivian Fox. And, that there were, and it was Yeah, Kat knew a lot too. The nine was it Samantha Fox like a. It wasn't me. Singer. And then we said, no, it's got to be Vivian Fox. And no, it isn't her either. I felt so, <laughs> so old. <laughs> Most of we should have just said Ms. Me. Fox. All right, Peggy, dear. <laughs> right. Can you, she's, oh, gonna look at, she's got a little doggy right there. I, I know I found it in filter. Isn't he cute? Is that so tonight's cool? theme is wind with a name. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wind. I'm going to put in two at a time because I'm less frustrated and probably everyone else is as well <laughs> when I do that. Okay, number one. This wind is a strong, cold, northeasterly wind that blows from southern France to the northern Mediterranean. Winds average 31 miles per hour and can be as strong as 80 miles per hour. It affects the northeast of the plain of Languedoc and Provence, and its name is derived from a word in the Languedoc dialect, meaning masterly. Ooh. Number two, this wind is a Mediterranean wind that comes from the Sahara and can reach hurricane speeds in North Africa and Southern Europe. It lent its name to a car. Did it get it back? <laughs> well, the car. <laughs> Don't say anything about it. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it kind of did, though. All right. It says three and four. Three is. These winds have been used by sailing ships to cross the world's oceans for centuries. They blow mainly from northeast in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast in the southern hemisphere. Number four, these winds are also referred to as devil winds. They are strong, dry, downslope winds that originate inland and affect coastal Southern California and Baja California. Those are, those are big hints, I think. All right, five and six. You know, she's putting the word in the <laughs> number. Yeah, I am, because I just got too frustrated with that shit. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it was my trick, too. It works. Yeah, I don't know why it works. It shouldn't work so stupid. Um, <laughs> five. These winds are comprised of two types, coastal and interior, and were named for a Native American tribe. The interior version of these winds are most prevalent over southern Alberta, Canada. And number six, in what city would you find a wind that is called the hawk? Where does Tony Hawk live? I was, I was going to make that joke too. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk at Taco Bell. All right. Next we have. Okay. Sorry about George in the background. If you can hear him, I certainly can. Nope. Nope. To get my anti-bark device going. Thank you, George. Okay, number seven, name the fictional wind of song 
popularized in the Paint Your Wagon musical of the 50s, and it later turned into a film. And also the Kingston Trio had a big hit with it in 59, apparently. Um, number eight, the Elephanta is a strong southerly or southeasterly wind, which blows on the coast of what country during September and October and marks the onset of the southwest monsoons? Not monsoons? I think there's some hints in all of these enough, but it, I don't know. Maybe it's harder than I think. It should be m monsoons, not moon suns. It should be monsoon. You got two O's in there. That's okay. Moon suns, then. Sure. <laughs> it's a new kind of storm. It's got the right number of O's, just the wrong place. Ah, yeah. There you go. Thanks for yes. that, Ron. Number nine, this wind denotes a gentle, soft breeze and derives from the ancient Greek name for the god of the west wind. And number 10, the brickfielder is a hot and dry wind that develops in the deserts in late spring and summer and also known as a southerly burster. The wind raises temperatures and causes dust to blow and was named for a district in a major city that produced the dust in a brick making neighborhood. What country in the Southern Hemisphere does this wind blow in? So, wacky winds. Wow, that's that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, some of the winds are hot. Yeah. <laughs> questions? Questions? Or you're all, go to your rooms, go to your rooms. Okay. Well, hopefully nobody needs to uh, pass wind. Ah. <laughs> oh my god okay okay i don't have a clue <laughs> um, um okay i'll I tell you if you get it right i will say that sounds right well number three maybe this is just too simplistic it's trade winds let's put it down for now Okay. Number four, just as a random guess, how about the California winds? Just again, just so that we have something, we'll go back to it later. Since you, since you guys are from that coast, Susan and Wendy, does anything pop That's to windy. mind? I'm nowhere. I'm as close to Southern California as you are to Florida. What? And I'm in Southern oh. California, but I I don't have an answer. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a long ways away. Let's just put California winds just so that we have something. How about um number two? Is it like a Subaru or a like a there Subaru is, a, there is, is a, a car and I can't think of the name of it. Uh uh the Subaru Subaru is a, J a Japanese. Okay, but isn't it something that starts with an S that's like a I remember it being named after a wind. Um, Sub Swind. <laughs> no. Um, it'll drift to the surface. Maybe Safari. Um, oh, guess Karen. No, Safari is not right. Put no, Karen. With but us. It's, it's something like this kind of. Let me put Karen in. In. Let's put it with us. Yeah, she can come with us because I think that because well we're we're tied for second place. Okay. So I will copy the the stuff back in. Karen, are you there? Karen, Karen, I'm sideways. Mm. Oh. How well do you know your winds? Um, can you hear me okay? Yeah, can you hear us? Yes, I'm, I'm sideways. Okay, how well do I know my what? Wind. Wind. Wind, like breaking wind? I know how to break wind. <laughs> are, are, you, are, you drive, are you driving, Karen? Yeah. She's driving no, she... sideways. Uh, Karen, I posted I the, the stuff into the chat so you can see them. But she question. can't see him. She's driving. I, I she's think she froze. And yeah, this is not going to be safe for her to read and, and even do this. I think she's just sitting there. It doesn't look like she's actually I, moving. She froze. It froze. No, it didn't look like she was moving before. Yeah, it did. I saw her moving oh. and now she's not. Okay. Not oh, oh, no. Oh, no. 
Number nine, I think, is Zephyr. Zephyr? Zephyr. How do you spell that? Oh, I skipped nine. Z-E-P-H-Y-R. You would have to say them. I cannot read. Z-E-P-H-Y-R is Zephyr. I agree. So, Karen, good. it's yes. the questions are all wind related. Okay. So, do you know anything about wind? Or well, we'll see. Wind? We'll, we'll see gusts, storms, tornadoes. Well, these are named winds. These are winds well, let's that see. have names. Well, let's see. Okay, which we'll uh, one that's uh, hard that we Karen, can do you know um, the... Uh, uh, so these winds are also referred to as devil winds. They are strong, dry, downslope winds that originate inland and affect coastal Southern California and Baja. Santa Baja. Ana winds. Okay. Wow, I guess she does know hers. Oh, good job. What number was that? I'm, number guessing, four. I'm guessing those are the Santa Ana winds. Okay, four. Okay, it's go better for better than it. California winds. I'll, I'll sit here while Karen answers the rest now. Okay, number one. This wind is a strong, cold, northeasterly wind that blows from southern France to the northern Mediterranean. Winds average 31 miles per hour and can be as strong as 80 miles per hour. In no, effect, no, no idea. Maybe the rest of the question we're talking about. It affects the northeast of the plain of uh, Languedoc. Uh, and Provence, and its name is derived from a word in the Languedoc dialect meaning masterly. I don't know. Le, le dominate. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, how about we write uh, masterly with a French accent wind? Le masterly. Yeah. Um, this wind is a Mediterranean wind that comes from the Sahara and can reach hurricane speeds in North Africa and Southern Europe. It lent its name to a car. Oh, I should know that one. Ah. I can't think of it right now. Tor not Tornado. Gra it could be a fast car. Grand Tornado. Um, it, it, that's the first thing that Grand came Torino? up. Grand Torino. Yeah, I think maybe, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. How I about Ferrari? Grand... How about Ferrari? That was a family name. Okay. Uh, what else? How about Torino? Just, just put that. Grand down. means big. Torino is Italian. You should just put Torino. Um. These winds have been used by sailing ships to cross the world's oceans for centuries. They blow mainly from the northeast in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast. Trade winds. Okay, that's what we thought. Okay. Wendy got that, so that's perfect confirmation. Uh, we got four. Five. These winds are comprised of two types, coastal and interior and were named for a Native American tribe. The interior version of these winds are most prevalent over Southern Alberta, Canada. Mm. Southern we Alberta. Where's, we, should, we need to ask Adrian if she knows, oh well, or, or Kat. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, in, Inuit, you know, I've never heard of Inuit winds. But uh, up and Alberta borders the north. In the north uh, United States, we have the um, Dakota tribe. Uh, Dakota winds? Maybe, yeah, maybe Dakota winds. Maybe okay. maybe Dakota winds? It's kind of got a nice ring to it. Yeah. In what city would you find a wind that is called the hawk? Never heard of it. There is a Dean Cameron play that that has that. There's a joke about the hawk, but Maybe. oh yeah, you're talking. You know what you're talking about? Oh my god, it's the funniest thing. I, whenever you mentioned it, it's called um, the scam scammer scam, yeah. where they yeah. put the 
the hawk at the top of the you saw that too God, i've seen it like five it's, or six times oh god so he's let, for number six maybe chicago that i'm just playing word association there chicago to me goes to black hawks black hawks hawks i don't know if it's just sure. something isn't sure. there one called they call the wind mariah well no that's idea. like in the plains or texas so it, we have wendy rob avi and uh susan right yeah yes. gail's it's okay. gail's category okay got it gail no not gail i'm sorry peggy <laughs> uh, gail she had wind on her mind wait wait she's closing it already okay yeah. come on what else what else what else um so let's see the elephanta is a strong southerly or southeasterly wind which blows on the south on the coast of what con country during september and october and marks the onset of the southwest monsoons i know that bangladesh got monsoons and i think yeah in india or india or bangladesh um which one should we put next question what, what questions next question let's do india um Nine, the world, this word denotes a gentle, soft breeze and derives from the ancient Greek name for the god of the west wind. We think Zephyr. Um, okay. The brick fielder is a hot, oh, sorry. This word denotes a gentle, soft breeze. Oh, I already Number have 10. the brick field. The brick fielder is a hot and dry wind that develops in the desert in late spring and summer and also known as a southerly burster. The wit. The wind raises temperatures and causes dust to blow and was named for a district in a mi major city that produced the dust in a brick making neighborhood. What country in the southern hemisphere does this wind blow in? Never heard of it. Australia? Sure. That would be the main English speaking country in the southern hemisphere. Good guess. Okay, we got something for everything. Okay. I think you ever can see the thing telling us when the timer is up. What do we have for what do we have for one, two, and seven? I didn't write them down. One, I don't know. I didn't write them down. Obviously. Wrote them down. Or when, who's got them? But we didn't we just made a joke. We didn't have anything. We don't have one. We don't have two. Do we have two? I would say for seven, Mariah. They call the one. Okay, say one seven, and two. Mariah. Say one and two. The questions. Oh, we don't have time. We don't have time. Okay. Peggy got the Peggy got First it. Right. Ones are gonna go. That was, <laughs> that, was that was well, that was really good. That was very difficult, man. Hard enough for you, Susan. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, go ahead. I want to see your PowerPoint. <laughs> well, it's it's almost an unfinished PowerPoint, but we're gonna try. Is it windy? Is it just like a bunch of air? It's a bunch of That's air. Hot, I, th I mean, air. our team for all 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 signs would have pointed us doing really good because we have windy <laughs> I, I like to say i was i was blown away by this category oh, oh that was good i'm so flattered carl um number one is the mistral i tried to give a big hint with the masterly this is trump's favorite win because it's a mistrial <laughs> love it ron that's really good oh you guys are awful this must be a pun <laughs> category. It, it was, but really hard. You, you didn't blow that joke. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it started oh, in the I, Oh, never heard okay. of it. I, I was going to go back and go off on the spelling. Look, look at that ugly Faith, car. Faith, it's definitely a high-end car. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? That's the 40 version of the rat. It it's even was. uglier than I remember. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. That's a particularly I ugly one. I knew it started pun. with the S. My brother had one that he totaled, but anyway, it was cuter than that. Um. <laughs> Number three is the trade winds. Many of you got that. Thank you for that. Number four is the Santa Ana winds. Yay! Oh, Yay. Yay. Lovely got that. So one I knew. What I knew as a California, as a native Californian. As a native Californian, yeah, the devil winds. Even as a Northern Californian. A number of you knew Chinook. Animals. That made me happy. The Chinook winds. Well, of course, everybody from Calgary had to know that. And then anybody that's read any that's read Jack London. I made a guess okay. for that, no, that no, one and I got same, it. Right. Yeah, we got I it too. Never, same way. Never, I've never, never heard that. I've never heard that here, ever. I, I don't really? know that. I've never there's, heard that name before, ever. There's they some they they get famous from song about the hawk wind, and I gotta find it. I'll try to find it and cough it up later. So um, 
Yeah, number no five, H on it, it's though. Mariah, and in most of the stuff I saw, it did not have an H. But you know, the Brits, if you if you see the word Maria, the Brits say Mariah anyway. No, they don't. But, it, but oh, I'll take sure. either spelling. You did not have to spell this right. My if audio, my audio glitched, this, Peggy, for number five. What was number five, just quickly? Maria or Mariah? Oh, five? No, five. Uh, five is Chinook. Chinook. Chinook wins. Oh, thank you. Well, there's Mariah, something, just something, Mariah, something. not Maria. No. Just, just look it up. Yeah, and it, it'll. Yeah. It, 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 there's a, <laughs> just such a great song, but um, there's also in that movie that they made of it. Um, there's some really good singing about um, Clint Eastwood talking to the trees. My friend of mine actually named okay. her daughter after that, and it's with an H, Mariah. Yeah, but Eastwood I don't down. think it's it's not spelled like that by the person who wrote the song. Mm. Um, number eight is India. Good. We put that down, right, folks? Yes, we yep. did. I believe so. Good. It's my team. Number nine is Zephyr, named for yeah. Zephyrus, the god Zephyrus. Yeah. And apparently, that blue thing has got Zephyrus about to blow on some lady eating a plant. I don't know. Uh, he better blow Art. soon because he's turning blue. Yeah, no, already uh, weird. Yeah. There's and a number simple... ten. Did anybody get ten? Because I don't think I ever would. It's Wait, a, so the I tennis, tennis, Australia, yes. Yeah. It's in Australia, yeah. I got uh, it. I I just guessed Australia on the basis. Okay, yeah, we guessed it's it. the only country we know oh, in the good. southern hemisphere. Exactly. Well, <laughs> for me, I guess English well, and it's fielder. English and it's, and it's yeah, exactly. English and, southern, English and it's southern hemisphere. So yeah, all the other countries exactly. in the southern hemisphere are full of foreigners. I oh, I was <laughs> running out of um I was running out of wins. Oh, Australia is the wrong wind. answer then. She ran out of wind. Australia you didn't throw right in answer. an Alberta clipper, Peggy. Come on. You asked for the country, so it's got Australia's the right answer. Australia's right, yes. Oh, okay. All I right. just hadn't completed my PowerPoint and I originally was going to ask you what the wind was called, and then I thought, well, that's just never going to get an answer. We have down <laughs> easters around here. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. A nor nor nor'easter is something that occurs along, basically, all along the east coast of the U.S. Yeah, all Easter, nor'easters yeah. all the time. What's eight, Ooh. Peggy? What's eight? Oh, I should put these in, huh? Hang on. Oh, eight, eight is, is India. India. Eight is India. The Elephanta. And was nine Zephyr? Ze yeah. Zephyr or Zephyrus? Yeah. How well, can you, can you put it in the chat, Peggy? Yeah. I'm about to. Yeah. Great. Yeah, it may there's not a have Zephyr, the damn yeah. numbers on it because of the yeah, way. There's a Zephyr Ridge uh, in a uh, <laughs> southeast of Calgary, southwest of Calgary. <laughs> what? I oh. guess, I guess somebody thought that the winds Oops. there were kind of gentle and nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at this hawk wind thing here, and it does it does say it refers to Chicago's winter, but it, it says for sure it never it did not originate in Chicago, and it's certainly never used here. Uh, it's it's apparently it's popular in the African American vernacular English, which is probably why, Dad, we haven't heard of it. Yeah, you don't have any of those in Buffalo Grove. <laughs> Do you have a better answer? Because you know. No. No, no, no. That's that's correct. That's the correct answer. I I just I'd never heard it. That's all. It okay, just feels well, bad because we guessed the Chicago. Chat. Let's do our no. scores. <laughs> so I am going to share to let you see the screen. The all important. Yeah, the share. Yeah, okay, but so... they say it starts high, and we're gonna go. All right, let's get through trivia before our team fades away. Nine. Damn. Good job. Wow. Rob is not a cat. Six. Oh, well, we did better Pretty than good, I thought. Kate. Pretty good. Crazy attracts crazy. Crank ad magnetism. Ten. Damn. What? Oh, no. You knew Can Australia? Is that Jane and Deborah? Halfway to a perfect score. Ooh. Okay. So up here from eight more months, how are we going to vote? Six. Wow, still a 7.8. I am I am really impressed. Me wow, too. you guys. I thought, I thought I thought it was gonna start going down to like, you know, three and four. <laughs> oh, you guys did good. It was so hard. Oh, if I was on there by myself, it would be a big zero. I had one. 
<laughs> I'd want I would have had three. We guessed. I would have had three. Chicago, and I would have guessed Australia. I three. And I got the trade wins. I would have got three. Wow, I'm really impressed. Yeah, actually, I probably would have come up with the trade wins, but the yeah. Santa Ana was the only trade one. Trade wins, Santa Ana, and the Chinook. On the, on the first on the first quiz, I only would have gotten one by myself, but I got uh, several of the. Uh, yeah, you the you almost got the whole round this time, Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, sounds really good. So let's take our photos. If everybody's Did team get ten? clean and you I know brush your hair that. or whatever, uh, we can we can do Hi, that. Karen. Okay, ready, everybody. Grow my Hi, hair. Okay, ready. Quit arguing, Faith and Romero. One, sure. two, three. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, so um, before we're gonna go on our break, we're gonna sing a little song to our favorite meow meow here on the screen. Sorry, Rob. Yeah, meow 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 meow. Okay, well, meow 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Rob. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Gee, it's early enough that I think I'll I'll stay for the third one. <laughs> okay, well, we got a five minute break. Well, you know, okay. if you wash your, if you do that twice and you wash your hands, they're going to be really clean. <laughs> okay. oh. So we get to have a small break. Small Five break. minutes. Go now. Yeah. Countdown's okay. on. Good. Hey, I was mad at him because he stole my pickle. I got a whole jar of pickles here. Come get them. Hey, uh, sorry to my team. I I I I I nixed the uh, I nixed the uh, the hawk thing. God, you are forgiven. Uh, yeah, I I didn't think that's what it was either. I was like, no, it can't be that. <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna think about when if it's cold and windy in Chicago, it's like the hawk wind. And you're gonna be dreaming that while you're riding, you could have been in a fancy schmancy uh, Volkswagen or whatever. <laughs> But what they call the wind when it's a geographic wind, Chicago is called the windy city, not because of the wind. No, it's, it's the, the politicians. politicians. Yeah. Or they just call it that fucking wind. <laughs> actually, That's what they call it in, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Actually, there is also... Um, it's damn impressive, let me tell you. The answer to the first one is actually the name of a Bugatti car. I just looked up that up. So yeah. Is 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 Vegas windy? When it winds, it does if there are mountains all around us. We're in a valley. Yeah. So it comes streaming between the mountains. Five million dollar car. I was I when I first got here, and of course I use a scooter and yeah. I went to, to vote. This was years ago. And I had to, I went to the wrong part of the of the building, so I had to go around to the other part of the building, and I'd already unloaded the scooter, so I said I'll just scooter around, and it was so windy I didn't think I'd make it. That's how bad it gets. It's this amazing. is my latest Timu purchase. Is there a reason for that? Yes. Watch. I think it's funny. <laughs> I think that was hysterical. No one thinks it's funny. It's a duck. <laughs> it's a duck flipping the bird. Oh, right. the duck is flipping the bird. I missed yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what team was for. <laughs> that's like you used to have the guy. I don't know. They don't like that. I think they don't allow you to do it anymore. You used to have the guy that you could stick on your windshield uh, or your side window, uh, and and you press a little thing, and his pants drop down, and you moon the guy, and you moon the other cars. Well, you, you've just come to one of my favorite ones. Do you know what that symbol is? No. It's for those who don't deserve the very best. <laughs> too true. Hey, I was back before five minutes were up. Wow.
So Rob, do you have big plans for tomorrow? Uh, oh, he must have walked away. Yeah, he's still. When he was there, he was moving all the time. We embarrassed him so much that he doesn't want to come back. <laughs> You're welcome. He <laughs> <laughs> might be eating birthday cake. Nom, 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 nom. His ears are bleeding from that, so he can't hear us anymore. <laughs> no, he's eating Carvel ice cream cake. He's from New Jersey. Ooh, yeah, you, 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 you belong in the zoo. You look like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you scratch like one, too. <laughs> well, I'm back. My ear, my ears were bleeding. I had to get the Q-tips. And... <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, do you have anything planned for tomorrow? Oh, nothing special. It's a Friday, after all. We might do something on Saturday. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, my avatar is frozen. It's not tracking my... Why is it not tracking me? Oh, now it is. Okay. I had to turn it back on. Ooh, that's <laughs> okay. I actually, if I shut the video signal off, when there, I didn't know this, when there's an avatar, it doesn't shut it off. That is weird. We knew you were gone because it was still... Yeah, that that makes sense. Actually, actually, no. When I when I right when I sat down and I still was not there, it was blinking its eyes. Yes, it does blink when you're yeah, not here. Yeah. yeah, that's deceptive. That would be great for meetings, right? I still have to figure out how to install this. This what? one and the potato one. What potato one? There's there's an avatar where you can turn yourself into a potato. Like a Mister Mister or Mrs. Potato Head. No, just like a potato, like a russet. <laughs> Why? You could just put a potato. Now there. that's just too far. A talking cat makes sense. A potato, I don't. It's, it's a potato with just a with like a picture of your mouth. This oh, is there. It's very God. funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So, no, Mr. yeah. so Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, we're talking. We're talking to the daughter about uh, uh, about her new boyfriend and. Uh, 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 and yeah, so what? What? So, so what is he? A Yukon Gold, a Russet? A, oh, uh, no. Let's see, Walter Cronkite. But no, what? Oh, no, I like he, that. He's just a commentator. Oh, oh. God, these are bad, bad puns. All right, That's we're back. I love Avi's party that he keeps putting on. Yeah, I, I just discovered these. It's I've it's part of the map. The history of the. Mr. Potato Head toy. <laughs> and originally it was like a real potato. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, the body I, I, parts I, on. Yeah. Yep. Are you surprised by this? Am I that <laughs> old? Yeah. What I had as a kid was when you used a real potato. Really? Yeah, that was the fun. Yeah. I yeah. just I'm surprised I that, that anybody would have would have come up with it. And oh. let me tell you, I work with kids and I have a I have a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head among my Many many toys I use with them, and they are so popular. Oh my god! Even with the bigger kids, it's wild. How many times the kids choose the Mister Potato Head over all these other things? I mean, I'm not saying it's always their first choice, but it is amazing how popular that Potato Head is. There's not even that many things you do with it. He's always got a picture. <laughs> All right, so let's go with uh, announcements. Who's got anything that needs to be announced? I have nothing. Oh. I sent an article, but it hasn't. It hasn't. So we've got two people. So we've got two people Wait. being catty. I'm lying. Um, there are three cats on this call. Oh, but two oh, are copy cats. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what's on? What's on the new? Uh, the next um. Uh, uh, skept uh, skeptic zone cat. No idea, Miss. I'm the new reporter, not announcing that or anything. Oh, well, you know, he was, uh, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm an official what? reporter for the skeptic zone now. I thought I was kind of thought I was, but I never realized that I, that I was officially so I'm on the website now. So, and it'll be on I mean, part of my bio. 
you even had your own theme music for the skeptics. Yeah, movie. I've had it for a long time. Thank you very much. Yes. So uh, the other things that are going on, I guess, is like I said, I, I wrote an article. It's about Rob had shared this um, a guy from Seinfeld, Jason Alexander. He had done a podcast, Really No Really. That's the name of his podcast. And at the end, he starts, he interviewed Bob Nygar, which is a psychic buster. And at the end, he starts talking about his his uh, episode of being a psychic, uh, you know, some ep psychic episode. And it was so lame. He's like, I don't know how I can explain it. And I was just like, oh, my God. So I wrote an article about it. That's the next one to come out. And then the lady that I was talking to earlier, if you guys were here earlier i insulted her and she's mad at me now and she's not gonna talk to me anymore so <laughs> no. if, if you're an operation grief vampire you can read read my response to her but she didn't like that i told her to go go check out the guy at the melon with the, at the melon melons and and that's how you meet a man not like i was like okay. tell you <laughs> she's mad at me now anyway she's i was very insulting she says i'm not stupid i'm like okay well you're the one that's spoke to me with some crazy ass story um who else rob you've always got something well i i three came out last before the show last week nothing this week although i submitted banachek about six days ago i think and yours i submitted yesterday so that they have now two in the queue we'll see when they come out and they're the final ones for the anticipating psychon series the the one that you and i did was the best <laughs> of course i watched it and i laughed at the very end it was great very well done we were hilarious we could have been more funny but we had to keep it to a half an hour yeah yeah well you know we want people to watch i don't know what it is with barry and he just he won't like i don't know he doesn't like long form videos oh i don't know whatever it is what it is we'll do some facebook ones okay um I published my first book. Uh, well, I didn't. What? Yay. What? I didn't what? publish a book. Mark's books have to be rewritten to get them in the right format so that I can get them to sell. And he has seven, 15 books that he self-published. They're all on magic mentalism. So I had to retype a book and it's 30 pages long and I published it and I got it in the middle of the day and it looks pretty damn good. And it's like a fraction of the cost of whenever he used to print them. So always wanted to get this done. Could not get it done. Somebody orders, Mark dies. Somebody orders something. I'm like, I gotta get this done. So I've got to get these other books done. I've got an, I've got them all sitting here, but that's it. So I published a book and I didn't really publish it. Anyway. So it was, so this was um, Mark's book that's being published posthumously. No, he had, he had written about 15 books on seance theory and magic different you people would buy them and they buy them i go to these conferences and he'd he'd make tons of money they sell really well but they only sell to a small community of people who are mentalists who want to learn seance and stuff like that so they're not like a something is going to sell on somewhere but judging from all the books that i have that mark collected these are all collector's items so people would uh, mentalists by other people's mentalism work and and stuff so no so he'd already published these books but he had them like set up so that you go down to the printer and you have them printed and bound and then it costs you like 25 dollars, and then he mails it off signs it and mails it off to somebody so i figured out how to do it so that it was on the computer and the person can just go to the website and hit buy and so the profits are higher and you know that kind of thing so well, wow. but I had to retype it because he's just has it in like you just scan it and make copies of it. And, it's, and I wanted to take some stuff out of it. I'll tell you later, Wendy, who I took out of it. Remind me. OK, I will. I removed a name oh, okay. in there twice. I said, "Uh, uh, this person is not getting a quote in this book anymore. Goodbye. I'll bet, I'll bet I can oh. guess who that is. I well. bet I can guess that who person has three names. <laughs> <laughs> like something, yeah. something, something. Yeah, well, something, something, something. Six, words yeah. Were, six words in total were removed. Let me tell you. Well, actually, mm -hmm. more than that because there was a quote from this person. I said, I think it's gone. It's and it's a, it's an intersection car between a, a a state and a type of cheese, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> a state. 
Yeah, like a state, like oh, a country. Oh, like a country, country maybe. Yeah. A, yeah. a neutral state. Yeah, neutral state. All right, let's go <laughs> on. Not that it, I'm just waiting. I'm ba- buying the days. I know it's going to come. Mama Bear is going to come get him, too, if he tries. Okay, so here we go. Let's go back. We're way on time. Has this CNN interview aired? Does anybody know with Kamala Harris? Because I wanted to watch it. No? I, I, I'm i expecting okay. I'll be able to see it. The whole thing is going to be on, on MSNBC over and over and over again. Yeah, YouTube's going to have it out. The, yeah. Oh, CNN Susan, do you want to solicit round takers for next week? Oh, that's a great idea, Rob. I mean, uh, Carl. Kyle. Oh, yeah. Kyle. 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 <laughs> Well, Rob is on next week, and I need two more and a bonus. Who do I got? I have a category. Janine. Uh, Karen, Karen is raising socks. a hand for something. I have, have to just sit around. So, <laughs> okay, another category and a bonus. Anybody got something? Karen, what? Karen, Karen's raising her hand for. Do you want a category? Want you want I think category Karen wants. Bonus? Karen wants to turn left, or maybe she wants to do a category. I don't know. Or the sun's in her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, what is it? Category, please. Okay. Karen, what's the category? Do I have a taker for the bonus or do I have to nag you in a minute? Nag you in a minute. Okay. Don't let me forget. Thank you, guys. You can put me up for a category the following week. Okay. I'll do the bonus, Susan. Okay. Gail's got the bonus. All righty, Rue. We are set for September 5th. Oh, good Lord. Okay, so back to the game. Thank you very much so far. So third up, it's going to be Vincent. What you got for us, Vincent? I'm going to be controversial. <laughs> Just because that's how I'm going to roll tonight. And uh, We're going to roll you? Uh, Off-color yeah. dad jokes? <laughs> going to sing oh, dad jokes. They're always on color. <laughs> that would Don't Rick roll us, Vincent. No. So... Uh, so it's going to be a mystery category, but once you see what I have posted, you will get it, I'm sure. Famous last words. <laughs> Waiting to see what he posts. I did use Word, but I knew I knew how to put these down. So Okay, go. F- oh, they're already there. They're right, right there. So... Read them out for the what? TV or for the okay. camera. Whatever. What word contains 26 letters but only has three syllables? Number two, what has a head but no brain? Ooh. Number three. Your head went there, huh? Yes. Which fish costs the most? Number four, the cowboy rode into town on Friday. He stayed for three nights and rode out on Friday. How is this possible? Number five. If you multiply the number by any other number, the answer will always be the same. What number is this? These are great. Yeah. They're they're great? Oh, well, wait until I tell you how much time you have. Oh. Oh, dear. No. Copy, copy. Hey, six. What can you break without touching it? Uh, okay, number seven. I am an odd number. Take away a letter and I, and I become even. What number am I? Number eight. It has eight keys but no locks it has space but no room you can enter uh, but can't go inside what is it number nine what has hands but cannot clap number 10 paul's height is six feet he's an assistant at a butcher shop and wears nine and wears size nine shoes what does he weigh Oh, and um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you've got two minutes. Got, hold on, you've got ten minutes. Give me two. I, I think minutes. we're gonna only need a few. Well, ten minutes. Okay, we'll call All us right. back early if we need to be. Okay. Oh, of course. 
Yep. Okay. All right. Go to your rooms. Have fun. Oops, I'm in. Don't <laughs> talk yet. I got to go back to my room. Go to your room. All right. Thank you for my powers. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so number one is alphabet. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Uh, two has got to be a pin. Oh, I was thinking it was what? a penis. I, yeah, I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there's probably several correct answers to that. There's probably know. several. Um, I'm not sure about three and four, but five is zero. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. Go four, four, four is, that's his horse's name. The horse's name is Friday. <laughs> oh, yes. horse's name. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, did, did, we, did we skip three? Yeah, which? Yeah, because we don't, we don't know what three is. Wait, wait, wait. Go slower. What fish costs the most? Goldfish? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay, let's probably. go with goldfish. Okay. Four. Uh, horse's name is Friday. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Five, Five is zero. If you multiply yeah. this number by any other number, will always be the same. Zero, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What can you break without touching it? Okay. A heart. A rule. Okay. Okay, seven is seven. Roll is good. Wait, 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 roll. wait, wait, wait. Go one at a time. This, no. Next. <laughs> what can you break without touching it? A rule is good. A rule. A rule. I think you said that, Susan. A record, yeah, running a record. A record yeah. is good. Rule, rule is good too. Yeah. A rule, a record. I like rule a little bit better. Yeah. Well, a, isn't there a theme to this? Yeah. Is I don't the theme that, that they're all okay. bad jokes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. think they're riddles. Okay. These are, these take, are all riddles I heard in eighth grade. If you take yeah. S away from <laughs> anyway, for the next one, if you take S away from seven, it becomes even. It becomes yeah. even. And it's also question number seven. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. And it eight, is. I think, is a keyboard. Yep. Keys but no locks. It has space but no room. You can enter, but can't go inside. Yeah, that that's good. Yep, keyboard. That's keyboard. Eight keyboard. Okay, okay number eight. Nine. What has hands that cannot clap? A clock. Clock. A clock. Yeah. And and he weighs meat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So should we pick which one for number six? We're going to use. What can you break without touching it? I like rule better than record. Yeah. Rule. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you were really wanted to be really pandemic, you'd say, but if it's like a record, you have to like surpass the record sometimes to break it. Yeah. Rule rules very good. I like rule. I mean, yeah. you could argue for either one. I think they're both acceptable. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that was fun. How's everybody doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you take ten minutes? Yeah, as I said, when I was as I was writing them down, I was putting the um answers that I had, and so I said, well, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna need ten minutes, but that's fun. That was easy. <laughs> so what what did we put? What did we settle on for two? Uh, yeah. Pen. 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 Head of a pen. Yeah, pen. the head of a pen. Lettuce also works. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's but, true. Right? I'm good with pen. Yeah. Oh, pen. lettuce also works. Yeah. Nice. Uh well. Yeah. Unless, yeah, Mr. Mr. Cabbage Head. <laughs> Mr. Lettuce Head. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Cabbage Head, that's actually a character from Kids in the Hall. Oh. Cabbage Head. There isn't like played by Bruce McCullough. You don't think there's any kind of theme that is gonna overwhelming theme besides that these are riddles. Like um all I food. I don't, no, think I, think, said, I, think, I don't think he said there was a theme, did he? He said there was kind of I, a well, theme. Well, like well, oh, category. Okay, the category is riddles. Yeah. But not something that would tell us why. I don't think I don't think there's anything to link the particular answers together to each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys are probably right. Friday is the horse's name. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Number four. That was so obvious. What somebody else said it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard that one. I've before. heard that one. Yeah, yeah. I think I've heard it. <laughs> I think like. When I was a kid, maybe. Yeah, these all, all of these, all of these that I heard, I heard when I was very yeah. young. Yeah, yeah. I had a riddle book 
when I was a kid. I think wait, a wait, lot of these. Wait, wait. The answer there. to number two is Donald Trump. Oh, <laughs> oh, good one. No, he has a brain. Brain. I, I, I yet to see any it's, evidence of that. It's defective. Brain. Let me see if that thing's up. He's got the best brain. Yeah. The best. <laughs> Only the best brains. Yeah. So I'm looking to see if CNN has that on. Yeah. I, I can't even get it's just this the the people have been tweeting at me in the UFO world. I mean it's just oh my god, that was so funny. I was, I, I, I keep getting these things and I'm like, this is so stupid. We're all done, Vincent. You're all yeah. done? Yeah, okay. yeah. And um and I'm and I'm <laughs> watching this um what's going on in politics and they're in the same kind of mentality it's just you know just watching these people going on and on she hasn't done an interview yet oh my gosh and then it's like oh she's doing an interview tonight oh she's doing it with his walls why can't she just do it by herself it's like god she's only been on the you know the the um out there for a month give her you know, so well, like, what I loved was she doesn't have any policies. Well, your guy was in there for four years and didn't have any policies. Yeah, and no, like, why did she get anything done? Well, she, it's like she was the vice president. What do you want? And 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 she did work on stuff. And it's just so dumb. And even when you say, okay, she's doing a she's doing a um, an hour long uh, interview on CNN. Oh, okay. Well, there's some other condition. Okay, well, Tim Waltz will be there. Okay, uh, I love him. I know. What will be next? She wore brown, a tan outfit. I mean, you know, it's just like uh, anything. It's so like the just. Oh, it reminds me of the UFO community. It's like that that maggot community is exactly the same. Nothing you can say to these people. They're just lost. <laughs> so, and they make up the most ridiculous things. Have, anybody else got the day um, circled on your calendar, September the 10th for debate? <laughs> oh, yeah. With a question mark after it. <laughs> we should have a party. <laughs> Everybody come over to my house. Yes. And we can throw stuff at the TV. <laughs> will, Trump, will, Trump, will Trump take debate? <laughs> uh, probably not. Well, the last few ones, they've had them on Thursdays. I don't know what these people are thinking. They know. Thursdays are our trivia night. So, right? What's wrong with them? I, right? Well, seconds away. From Four, three, two, one. one. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun? Oh, good. That was a lot of fun. Okay. So, this is where people's scores are going to go way down, I think. <laughs> not. Well, not not if you don't take some of the answers. Adolescence. Well, that's 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 a, a multiple answer. You come up with multiple answers. answers you'll be willing to accept more than one correct answer. For this, Jim stayed up. No, <laughs> no. he's rethinking his life choice. Not. <laughs> no. He might make it the whole night. Wait, Vincent, what did you say? You're not doing. I am not going to give you a break. <laughs> Nope. Nope. It's going to be what Vincent thinks is funny is the answer. Everything mm -hmm. ends up with rhubarb. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Even answer. if you can find it on the internet in Wik and Wikipedia, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Go ahead, Vincent. <laughs> what you got? Oh, so, number one, almost everyone got this the alphabet. Number two is a lettuce. Had a lettuce. That cannot what about be a coin? Or a nail? About a coin uh, in a bathroom. We had a coin. Or a nail. Um, yeah. Vincent. A nail, a needle, Lettuce. cabbage. Oh, no, I'm going on. I'm going on. Whoa. We're taking it. Whoa. I'm going on. Ah. Okay. He's speaking, man. Number three uh, was a goldfish. Most people got that. What about platinum fish? Uh, no, I, don't, I don't think there is such a thing. Buddy. Gold's actually worth more than platinum. be. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It is now. It is. Uh, it has people, been for a, for a while. Most, yeah. Yeah. Most people got this. Friday was he rode on Friday. The horse was Friday. Uh, number five, uh, of course, was a big old zero. I don't understand why people said one. Come on. 
Uh, number six, what can you break without touching it? Uh, you guys were on the right track when you said a promise. What about wind? Or heart. Rule. <laughs> or heart. Or... He's only given us to um, the rules. Yeah, to break the rule. Oh, we're breaking the rules by, by, by allowing our answer. We guess promise anyways, but I like wind better. Okay, well, so the name I of the like, round is Read Vincent's Mind. I yeah. like my heart. Now I know I have a headache. <laughs> Number seven is Seven. So that was a given, I would think. Uh, Wait, number what was eight? number seven? Seven. 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 Yeah. Uh, number eight. But also, it applies to eleven. We it's don't eleven. Play. It's no. Seven. It's not eleven because you seven. have to take away one letter. Yes. Take away the. You take away the, the guys S. who said eleven are wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really wrong. That's okay. beyond mm. wrong. Eight. Susan. Shut up, Susan. We don't like you. Nah. And Avi, the Avi, you don't you don't do arithmetic. Come on. <laughs> that's not arithmetic. This is these are riddles. Okay. Yes, it's, it's, that's and if you got it, that the riddles, that this that, is words. That's it. Yes. And eleven eleven is and, not an odd number. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes, it is. It yes. certainly oh, is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Moving on, Vincent. Moving on. <laughs> Please. Yes, take let's like, move on. We're uh, all going to get our eight. high school diplomas taken away from us in a minute. Number eight is a keyboard. Yay. What about the caps lock? Yes. What about the caps lock? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it's a mystery. Okay. Uh, what has hands but cannot clap a clock? Okay. Yay. An analog Will you accept clock. watch? Watch. Watch clock. Yeah. No, no, you no. T-Rex? It's got to be one or the other. No, no. Clock no. or a watch. Uh, what, what if it's I said clock. grandfather clock? No. Watch, it has a to be watch clock. with hands and a face. How about that? Grandpa Grandpa clock. Clock. An analog clock. Uh, how, about, how about? How about? What about a cuckoo analog. clock? How about? Vincent, you're breaking your own rule here. How about a person who's been paralyzed? How about a digital clock? A T-Rex has hands and Oh my God! Number ten. I broke the rule without up. touching it. Number 10 is meat. Yes, you of course. really had to really look at the question to see what it was asking. Yes. And he, then figure I out which he answer butchers. he was looking for. Meat. Just he's weighing meat. He weighs butchers. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That was All fun. Right. Dude, that was fun. Now the butcher's assistant fun. sweeps up the floor. You guys are I very thought, creative. You know what? I thought it was fun. And I thought, you know, nobody's ever done, like, I don't know if anybody's ever done riddles before, but there were a lot harder ones, too. And it's like, well, oh, hmm. next time. I we, went, we did, yeah, I I'll do harder do next before. time. I yeah. think we did do it once before. I, I think I had a category yeah. that had a couple of riddles in there somewhere. I and I thought you did it. something like this before, Vincent. No. No, no. He just, just tell so many them. jokes. We think it's a category. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over the box share. without he uh, yeah. Sharing yeah. screen now. I hope my team did well. Okay, well, Rob is not a cat. Six? No, eight. Excuse me, eight. Wow. I thought we got nine. We got, to, we got, we got all oh. of them right. What are you talking about? No, because okay. you had to get the, exactly the word that he said. We didn't have lettuce. So if you don't have lettuce, lettuce is stupid. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's it's not not all. It's it's stupid. We had goldfish. Come on, you got options well, up here for and nails, and you say lettuce. Yeah, it's lettuce. Oh, Come on, we, we, we got nine. Vote? Everybody's got to be fair. What? You know what sucks? They're gonna miss a perfect score because six? of a head of lettuce. Hey, we get, didn't we get nine? I'm sorry, I thought the only one we missed was the stupid head question. I didn't think we missed any. I didn't, he didn't let us have wind <laughs> on on what what you break without touching. No, no, no. no I wrote down promise. promise. No, we wrote down all of those things. Oh my God, you guys, you're supposed to know this. Nine. Nine. We got nine. nine. The only one we missed okay. was the stupid lettuce. Oh, one. I think everybody gets a nine this round. <laughs> Oh shit! Up here for, for eight more months. Oh, oh, we got eight. If we hadn't done math wrong, we would have had nine. So suck it. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty funny. Before our team phase. Yeah. We had nine. 
Yeah, yeah. we had coin instead of lettuce. Nine. Yeah. All right. Crazy Stop attracts that. crazy. Oh, no. there's an echo out there. Somewhere. I think it's Karen. No tens so, uh, of that stupid yeah. lettuce. Eight, eight, eight of our ten correct answers were accepted by Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was the other one besides lettuce? Pen. pen? Wind. I, I told oh, you I, I, pen. I, Head I of a pin. You guys, I was going to be controversial, and I was. Okay, <laughs> he stuck to there. it. He knows you how to be wrong, apparently. He says, I'm talking, and no, Mr. President. Yay, Vincent. Good job, Vincent. Oh, thank you, Karen. Hold your ground. <laughs> I certainly did. We're not going back. I know. Yeah, I know you have enough in back. the tank for round two, Vincent. <laughs> He's going to stand his ground. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. And when he fights, he wins. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Two we weeks from now, I mean, Vincent's uh, going to come back with round two. Okay. Alan. Anyway. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. Stay for the bonus. You might as well. Go ahead, Alan. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'll sign off now. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, you right. hurt my feelings. All right, fine. <laughs> Hi, Jim. It's all people named Jim. Um. All right. Uh. Let's let's see what I can do here. How how I can drag this out for another hour? No. Oh, the talks no. and punchlines no. to dirty jokes. Uh, yeah. Please don't. Oh, no. He's already started yawning. Come on, Alan. I want the commentary while you try and figure this out. I, I I'm trying to figure it out right now. So give me a second. I, I promise it won't, won't take time. Our son has got like five PhD. Um, you still need. Do you still need one more person? You got it. Okay. Well, Thank you were one of them. Okay. Yeah, she's one. All of them. right. So let me. Uh, okay. So I, I I realize I forgot that this is in not a regular round. It's 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 a thing. So I'm not using numbers. They're too, they're too much trouble. Uh, here's the here's the 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 category. Let me just do this. Said the son oh, of a mathematician. Wait, wait, I told Ron I would not make up numbers like that. are too hard. Huh? Funny, you know. So Karen, I, to be clear, you have a, you have a category next week. You know that, right? I I do, but I thought that she needed to fill one more spot. I thought. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I guess, what I'll do is I, they're not numbered, but they're separated. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put down all ten. Uh, uh, questions or whatever, and then I'll put what I've got is ten. Uh, the description of ten sports, and then I'm going to put in a list of twenty-five sports. You just simply match up the description with the sport. So don't worry about numbers. So let's see. I uh, hopefully these will all come out. I'm just going to try putting them all into uh, right now into. Um, so yeah. this is, let's see what happens if I don't totally screw this up. All right, so I'm going to do this. Um, I would do five this mess. Time. Okay, it's too long. It's too long. Hang on. Let five me, so, okay, hang on. I got to do this again because uh, it's too long. I'll, I'll do it in, uh, let's see if I can do it in one, two, three, four, five. Fellas. <laughs> Kids are so funny. All right. Speaking of funny, just as a off. filler, <laughs> my sister is dying okay. to get one of the camo Harris walls. Hats. I would love one too. But they don't ship to Canada. Well, so she'll okay. pick it up for so, you. All right, and hang on, guys. Who's in? Who's going? Did you? Did it come out? Adrian, get it for you. Yes, we, in we, we have them now. We okay. Have them so, um, can't have them shipped to somebody that's going to be at SciCon. We can hand it to. Um, okay. So let me just read them, and and then I'll put in the next five. Okay. So, uh, the first one: this sport is played with bare hands and almost exclusively in Chicago. Uh, avid, um, uh, avid players can be recognized by their crooked fingers. That's number one. Number two here is a rouge is what is what some would consider a fercacta, you can look it up, a fercacta rule, which sometimes rewards a team for failure. Uh, the next one, uh, the outdoor version of this game fields 10 players on each team, nine players and a goalie. The indoor game, a total blood sport, which is what you are to, looking for, fields six players, Five plus goalie. I'm still hurting after 50 years. All right. The next one is talk about blood sports. 
the Irish are bloody nuts. Is that a bat or a weapon? All right. And then the next one, I guess this is five. Uh, scored an albatross. That's a good thing. Okay. Now let me put the next five in. And then at the end, I will give you the choice of stuff. All right. Um, and okay. Uh, is uh, Gentile? That's the first one there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, press enter. Oh, sorry. Enter. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, better get past the hog line. And yes, even with that, the game is also played in Israel. <laughs> All right. And let's see. The next one. This team sport was an Olympic event from 1900 to 1920. Modern Olympics co-founder Pierre de Coubertin called it a grubby sport played by medieval British peasants. Uh, the next one, unlike other sports where teams change sides each period, in this game, <laughs> every time a goal is scored, the team changes direction. Um, let's see. Next one is this genteel. Oh, not so much. Sport has five players per team on the playing surface at a time, but only one, the jammer, can score. Yeah, no idea. And the final one is, be careful what you do in the kitchen. And uh, now I will get the, uh, the possible, so there's 25, you have a choice of 25. Let's do, I'm gonna, let's try, I'm gonna do 10, uh, 10 first. Let's see if I can get these guys in. Um, all right, so that's the first group, the first bunch. You're not okay. in yet, not yet. Oh, yes, damn, gee whiz. Okay, uh, cricket, let's do the next 10. All right. And then the final five, I sent it. Yeah. 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 Okay. And the final five. Uh, okay. So you've got a 25 games from which to choose uh, which matchup. So all you got to do is just put the name, the name next to which, whatever the description is. Excellent, Smithers. Excellent. Okay, and I think most of these can kind of be figured out. I, I, I'm expecting high scores, but you don't never know. Yeah, you never know about this group. Okie doke. Yep. Okie doke. Uh, except that, okay, where, where I forgot where I'm going here. Uh, uh, do I go to participants? Is that the story? Nope. Breakout room. Go to more. More. That's the yeah. trip. Oh, more and more a more. Okay, breakout rooms. Go. Open all rooms. Have fun. Thank you. Hello, team. So it's a bit of a nuisance. Oh, somebody needs to be put on a team here, but who's the, who's got a period not joined? Who's that? What? There's there's somebody who's not joined and their name is period. I must Maybe be Karen. Karen's thing. Um, Karen must. That must be Karen. Uh, were those were those questions relatively clear? Yeah, I got some <laughs> no. answers before you even gave us the option. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. I, yeah. For simplicity's sake, it'd be nice if they were numbered, so you can know what I'm referring to when we talk. Okay. Anyway. Bye, Alan. Right. Go away. Go away, Alan. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah no, he, can, he can eavesdrop. Going. No, no, I'll get out of here. Do, 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 do good. Come on. 
Is number one handball? Play with bare hands and almost exclusively in Chicago. No way. Somebody should probably put this on a screen. Yeah, what what does yeah, maybe add the numbers? Uh exclusive to Chicago. Remember, we only have to come up with 10. I was I was thinking something. handball as well, except that's not exclusive to Chicago. Yeah, it's certainly not. We're gonna put everything okay. in the so maybe 16 inch softball. Oh no, wait. All of these questions have to be answered. It's just the answer. What about what about yeah. right there. wrestling? That's wrestling not the other nine limited to back. Chicago. But I've never heard of 16 inch softball before. I've mm -hmm. never heard of any sport that's limited to Chicago. Anyone been to Chicago and something specific to that? We're going to go to Chicago. Yeah. Players can recognize by their crooked fingers. I'm guessing uh -oh. it's 16 inch softball. So it's one of those answers, right? Yeah. So pick the selection. Or right. or can you see the questions? Yeah. Okay. Um, is could number four be um cricket? Because they got that weird bat thing. Oh yeah, it's possible. Four. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's my contribution. <laughs> I would, that would have been my guess. I think I think cricket is good for a talk about the blood sports. It is it is it is kind of vicious. Yeah. Although so is rugby. Was yeah, there rugby is rugby. They don't rugby, have a bat. I mean, there's no bat in rugby. There okay. must be cricket. Cricket yeah. has a it has a kind of weird particularly okay. a really shaped bat. Yeah, like game. a flat number three yeah. is ice hockey. No, I'm betting it's yeah. box lacrosse. Is it box lacrosse? Yes. He played it because it is. Okay. Hockey, which I refuse to call it ice hockey because that's just fucking redundant. I get, I know. Is not played on a field. That's field hockey. Okay. Because that's why I was, I was going to guess hockey for that one just because. But lacrosse is a total fucking blood sport. Okay. Is tug of war. <laughs> I see tug of war and roller derby. I, on my screen, it says tug of war roller derby. Those are two different things, right? Number five, albatross. Because that'd be fun, tug of war ro roller derby. Number five, the score in albatross, that's golf. Golf, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, How do you score an albatross? Never heard of um, it. I think it's like you get a double eagle or something like that. It's it's like something up above a double eagle. What's a double eagle? What's a it's, double eagle? <laughs> so it's... Listen, it's almost no strokes to get it into the yeah. little top. Like you, yeah, it's because you're you want to take as many the least amount of strokes as possible. So it's not a hole in the one hitting the ball. Okay. That's a stroke. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I'm inclined to agree with golf being a good walk spoiled. Yeah, me too. This sport is plays okay. A rogue. The what hog line is curling. Okay. Which one? The hog line number, so number six. six is curling. Number six, you have it as number five. Oh, sorry. It's six. Okay, so which? Oh. Number 10 is pickleball, probably, because I was going to guess curling because they use brooms. Maybe be careful what you do in the kitchen. Wait, 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 wait. You said number nine was pickleball? No, that was good. No, I was thinking number 10's pickleball because that's food oh, because the pickle the in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's clever. That's really <laughs> awful. <laughs> Sorry, that's bad. But can you I don't some... know. Be careful. Better, nothing else is played in the kitchen. I mean, nothing's played. I think kitchen. that don't they call a certain area like uh in volleyball or um tennis or something like that there's an area called a kitchen i seem to remember that somewhere it's like you have to you have to do something from the kitchen it's like a um what sport is that well it seems like i remember that there is a area like you're supposed to like hit the ball the from the kitchen number six is curling seems like i remember there's a sport that has an area on some sort of area that they call it a kitchen well we can come back to it i don't yeah. think it's basketball no no i think i would have heard that 
This team sport was an Olympic event from 1900. I'm thinking tug of war. A grubby sport played by medieval British peasants. Go with that. War, is that, oh, that is on the list. Yeah, I couldn't read that whole list. It was so yeah, long. Yeah, tug of war is good. Yeah, that sounds like a really good guess. It's an old, old. It wouldn't take much old time. game. Yeah, just rope and some. Yeah. And rugby. When we were watching rugby, every time they scored, did they have to run to the opposite side of the team to get another spiel to get another? No, that's water polo. Okay, it's water polo. Okay. Yeah. I I was too busy looking at their butts during while they were playing water <laughs> polo to actually pay attention. So. You know. Well, let me just say I'm 89% sure it's water polo. Okay. It's, I know it's not rugby. So they swim to the other side of the pool? Yeah. Huh. Why? That's curious. I, I don't know. Huh. I just yeah. watch a hell of a lot of fucking... Well, I guess it Olympics. makes more sense in a pool than anywhere else, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> what is the jammer? Uh, that would be polo or cricket. Or um, not cricket, croquet. Oh, polo. But I don't know that croquet is on our list. It's not. Croquet has and a jammer? A What's a jammer? They use What's the, the jammer? Probably because they both use croquet mallets. What's a jammer? The, the mallet? Is that what it's called, a jammer? The croquet mallet? Yeah. Okay. I've the never... mallet itself is called a jammer? No, I learned about it. Never the, heard the that. Person who, the only person who can score in polo is the jammer. That's what they're called. Okay. And that's the only person that has the hammer? Mm. Anyway. Okay. Oh, okay. The jammer is the person, not the tool. For, for number it. two, because we don't have an answer for number two, right? We don't, and we don't have one for number one. Number one, I'm. I've never heard of sixteen-inch softball, so I think that's probably it. Okay. Nothing else on this list is exclusive to Chicago. Exclusive to Chicago. So unless it's hurling. No. Chicago has made an interesting theme tonight, even though it wasn't one of the categories. Right? <laughs> but number two is the CFL. It's a missed field goal in the CFL. So it would be is Canadian everyone football. still thinking about, about the DNC at Chicago? So that it sort of reappeared. Oh, it, so, it was really great. In the categories? Flips. Yeah, number two. You said Canadian football is number two? Yeah, it's in the CFL, it's a, um, a missed field goal. What is a fakata rule? I have no freaking she's idea. A, she's a yeah, look it up. up. It's a shit rule. It's a what? A shit rule. That's what. Really? She, that's what for katka means shit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Canadian football, huh? Okay. Awards a team for failure. <laughs> okay, so, so we want to. Okay, no comment. <laughs> I don't know 16 inch softball because like you're you're the only you know I I'm gonna I'm gonna vote for that just because what else could it be you know handball no handball's played all kinds of places played all over the world Chicago. yeah oh, okay. hell even I played handball as a little what kid about hurling? Sports. what is hurling like, has anybody else heard of hurling I've not heard of isn't that throwing that disc thing? Yeah, isn't that throwing that disc thing from like that's even discus. ancient Greece? Yeah, that's discus, no? That's, that's discus. discus? And the javelin. No, the the that's discus, and then you have where you shoot them the skeet shooting. But you're we'll go sixteen inch softball. Sixteen inch softball. Yeah. And you said, Susan, that there's some place called the kitchen in volleyball. Or... I, it feels like it's volleyball or tennis. And I don't know. Tennis is not feels, on here. Tennis. It so, feels like I've seen, I've heard of a sport that has an area, it's called a kitchen. And, and you're supposed to stay in it or you're supposed to be staying out of it during a certain time of the game. And I'm. It seems like such a weird name for a. It was the sports. They do all sorts of strange things. Yeah, they like sure that. do, don't they? But I do feel like it was something that was like a volleyball or a, you know. Could it be racquetball? It could still be pickleball because that is a court. But I don't. Because I, I know with volleyball and 
like with tennis, you're supposed to be behind a specific line. I don't think you can be in the court when you're serving. Right, that's correct. No, you can't. So certainly, but it does feel like there's a certainly not. Can't a think of that. For it. Go it's with pickleball it. because pickleball is played on a tennis court. Right. So pickleball. Right. Uh, guys, I need to explain that. I, I guess number eight or the eighth one. Um, it's not. Ref I don't know what you've got there for an answer. But Water it's not bowl. like like you where you know a team goes to one end scores and then the other team goes back and scores and you reverse there. It literally like at halftime you literally switch goals and stuff like that. So where you're aiming to, like if 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 there's a point scored on this side, at the next point you would be not going back to this goal or this net or whatever. You'd be going the other way. So literally the field switches completely. So it's you know what I mean. So it's not. We got it. We got it. We got it. Some of us when we watch right. the game, we're not paying attention. All right, because I want to make sure I, I get everybody here. I I still number think ten tennis. is the weird one. I still think it's probably tennis, but you think it's tennis? Don't think anything about pickleball? We'll put. Well, okay. We'll put but, or volleyball. Pickleball uses all well, my years like, watching. Go with tennis. tennis. Go with tennis. Pickleball uses the same court. It's just a tennis court. Yeah, but I've never heard the term. It's a I don't know anything about pickleball, and I did play tennis. 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 Go with tennis. So which one are we going? Tennis. Tennis. Tennis or volleyball? I don't even know if that's true, but it feels. Okay. Who votes bad. tennis? I guess tennis. Who votes volleyball? <laughs> okay. I'm totally that. undecided. <laughs> I I my well, I, I'm, I'm still personally. I've never volleyball. heard of anything that has to do with pickleball. So and I'm leaning more towards volleyball because I'm like Susan. I know I've heard it in passing, but I mean I'm fine with volleyball go, too. Go with volleyball because so I we have two I, votes I, for volleyball. Well, no, because I would think I would have heard it because more people I know talk about tennis than they do volleyball, and more people I know have actually played tennis. Who do you know? Uh, girl, a roommate from college. She played it. That's where I learned like love was a bad thing. You know. So you do remember, you guys, the least cat feels like they've heard this before. I've heard it, but I, and Today's so I'm first. thinking like, maybe I heard it watching the Olympics or something, because I don't tend to watch. They don't play pickleball in the Olympics, And I right? refuse to play it because. They don't, hurts. but they had break dancing. <laughs> that finally has died down, thank goodness. I felt so bad for that Australian woman. No. She break dances a lot better than I could. <laughs> yeah, but actually, she actually, I learned country. on TikTok. I learned on TikTok that pretty much anybody could do what she did. <laughs> people were, I know, people I've seen it all over. People, people were, like, were reenacting oh, God, her God. entire setup in their bedrooms, like in the doorway of their bedroom right. to their master bathroom. They were and doing her outfit clothing. was so awful. I well, just, she doesn't get to pick the outfit. She didn't get to pick that outfit. Australia designed that. Oh, no, Australia designed that. Ooh. Yeah. I hope they never have break dancing again. That was they apparently are not going to. So why would they even try? It was not the break dancing people. It was the uh, uh, okay. dancing. Okay. So I, I've been going to everybody else. I couldn't get back to you guys. Did I explain number eight to you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did. did. Oh, yes, I did. did. Okay. So yeah. then hopefully I got everybody. I okay, I'm gonna then I'm gonna let I'm gonna yeah, tell I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. All right. Uh, close what do we close all close all rooms? Close yeah. It down. Yep. yeah. Yeah. It was uh, the ballroom dancing people wanted a sport in the Olympics, but they wouldn't let them do ballroom dancing. So then the they picked break dancing, but they didn't know anything about break dancing. Ballroom <laughs> dancing is beautiful, but I can't see it being an Olympic sport. That seems silly. A lot of things I think are silly Olympic sports, honestly. Probably. It just, it was yeah. like, that's, it's an art. It's not. Yeah, it's an art, not a sport. But I mean, even though you have to be athletic to, to do it. Arts but... in the Olympics. Well, then what about, what about yeah. synchronized swimming? What yeah, about, uh, what swimming. about artistic? What's, what's the, uh, what's the one artistic with the ball? Ice the, skating. Gymnast, the, the gymnast with Rhythmic the rings. Rhythmic gymnastics. And... But that is a skill because you have to do exactly these certain tasks. You have oh, to well. have and in and in uh, ballroom dancing, that would be more of a 
You had you know, but they have requirements player. just like they have requirements just like uh, you would have in uh, in figure skating in pairs. There's mm -hmm. specific moves that you are required to do. But in things. ballroom dancing, everybody can do those moves. I mean, it's not like well, mm -hmm. some You're people have to do others. But I mean, there's ballroom dancing competitions. They don't need to take it to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. well, I, just, that you said about every sport. Have, uh, well, I agree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. With what Romero? They used to have dueling in the Olympics with uh, wax bullets, so they would. Yeah, you know, like duels, like where you should. Yeah, what Richard, or not Richard Burr, but Aaron Burr, and. But then they only had one. one Can we volunteer people? Right. No. That's how you decide, president. Okay, you have. Are a we duel. being recorded? Yes, we're being recorded. I don't want to be visited. I don't want to be visited either, and I need to keep my job. So thanks. <laughs> See, we talked ourselves out of a point there. Oh, I feel the same way. Karen's got a kitty. Oh, did you get a kitty? Is that a candy? Oh, easy. Man. I mean, we got a 10 out of 10. No, we didn't. We did. Karen, <laughs> easy. a ginger. There was, de there was definitely some interesting uh, I interesting conversation. I thought I was, I was surprised. Um, I always like that part the best. It's fun. Yeah. Um, all right. What do I need? Can I? Can I just go and I, I'll just read it and tell you what the answer is. Yeah. Can we just yeah, do that. All so right. So, do you want to say what all the choices were for the listening audience, or no? Uh we well, those. there's 25 of them. I can sure. No, you already did it. He didn't say them. Not not the the answers. Uh okay. Well, here you go. I'll read them real quick. Uh, NFL football, Canadian football, basketball, handball, racquetball, soccer, box lacrosse team or olympic handball ice hockey cricket volleyball field hockey tennis pickleball 16 inch softball curling golf water polo rugby tug of war roller derby polo hurling baseball and softball thank you and here you go okay so the first one the sport is played with bare hands and is almost exclusively in chicago Avid players can be recognized by their crooked fingers. I, Avi, I hope they listen to you. It is, in fact, 16-inch softball. Yeah, and, we 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 did listen. So, what is what what 16 inches have to do with it? It's okay. a it's a six it's 16 inch tough. it's 16 inch in diameter. What is and the it's ball. baseball. They try and I think I was Holy reading crap. one of the yeah. one of the reasons I started to play. It's very popular in the city. Um, men and women mixed teams. Uh, if you don't value your fingers. But a freaking beach ball no, size. Holy no gloves. No, it's it's a little bigger. So because apparently at one time, you know, softballs were a whole a lot of different sizes. They finally settled on 16 inch. I think uh, the only what does it do to your fingers? It, 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 people are breaking them all the time. Because you <laughs> don't right. are, we doing, are we doing You're 16 inch diameter or 16 inch diameter? Diameter, and they don't use a mitt. So well, they're bringing no. the they're, fat, they're and fat it's balls. not that and soft. Is, that ain't 16 inches what you're holding up in front of your face. I'm telling you. And you can't, and you can't, you know, you can't hit the ball all that far. You know, the ball doesn't go that far and that hard. But Ooh. you know, you anyway. Okay. Um, a rouge. I was counting on the Canadians getting this one. Um, a rouge is uh somewhat some would consider a fercacta, a uh, kind of weird rule, which sometimes rewards a team Ooh. for failure. It's uh, Canadian football, Ooh. and it's a single point. And the interesting thing is, I didn't, I mean, uh, uh, Ron, I didn't realize they, they, you know, it used to be the Canadian football field, which is much larger, uh, longer, and wider than than uh, an American, uh, like an NFL uh, size uh, field. Uh, they um, used to have a, a twenty five a yard deep end zone as opposed to 10 in american football but they since shortened it to to 20 but ah, the, okay. the, but the, and i hadn't realized that but the thing is what what made me think about this particular rule is that i was watching something a, a little video apparently last week there was a game between toronto and a saskatchewan Hi. And uh, the guy, they were. It was a tie game at the end of the game, last play of the game. They went to a uh, Toronto went to attempt um, a field goal. He missed the field goal, but because he kicked it right out past the end zone, 
It could not be returned. He got it. They got a single point in Toronto won the game. So he and, failed uh, uh, to make uh, the field. Are we goal. only on question and answer two? Come on. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I, I don't have any clue. What a you co-worker said. of mine was at that game, by the way. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I have no idea what you okay. By the way, outdoor for outdoor version of this game, it's it's lacrosse. Uh, the indoor game is oh. box lacrosse. It's played usually like in a hockey ring. They take the ice out or they cover it up. And if you've ever, it's just like hockey right, and just a softball tournament, tournament day. So naturally, I had to start it off with a case of the muting Deborah. <laughs> and yeah, and uh, uh, Ron, uh, Ron uh, our 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 buddy Ron here was an excellent goalie, uh, uh, and and I'm still hurting from getting beaten up in that game. Okay. Aww. Also, one uh, second. Uh, sport. Some of you guys got it. I don't know how many. Uh, it's uh, the Irish play curlers. Uh, you got to watch some of this. It is hysterical. It's a great game, but these guys are totally totally whack. Um, uh, the next one, uh, an albatross is golf. It's um, it's like if you get a hole in one, you get an albatross. It's a double eagle. It's three oh, shots wow. under par. Yeah. Oh. All right. It's a good thing. Um, I'm thinking it would be a bad thing in golf. The hog line is what you have to get the rocks past in curling. So a rock is eliminated if it doesn't get past the hog line. And uh, they do, and I looked up, they do play it in, in even with the hog line, they play it in Israel. Um, uh, the next one, the team sport from the Olympics was tug of war. Well done, uh, Abby. Oh. I had look, I had found that. Up oh, in, up yeah, in that's Olympic games now. in the um, okay. Olympics. Um, and the oh. uh, switch, the switching of the welcome. switching of sides. That is polo. What? Oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, with the oh, horses polo, and the whole business, and oh, they have, apparently they, way, way they, they oh, literally wrong, switch and you go the other direction. There's so is that polo. is that not done in basketball? Am I remembering that incorrectly? No, in basketball no, they don't do it in basketball. The other teams then go back the other way. So I thought I made it clear when I told you guys that no. literally everything reverses. Sorry, um, team. I thought it was water polo. What you I, I, I've actually played polo and I don't remember that particular aspect of it. What on the horse? On a horse, yeah. Wow. Well, there's polo and there's nothing, there's really nothing terribly oh, the genteel. Things I didn't know. And it is not a terribly <laughs> been a long genteel time. sport. It is well, not that means at all. another one wrong. Um and speaking <clears throat> of genteel sports, if and I use this term very loosely in this. This is this is a sport like you know professional wrestling. Um, <laughs> it's uh, um, roller derby. Roller derby. And, and apparently, roller derby you know was played uh, uh, mostly by women, which is no big surprise. That's all you ever used to see on TV. <clears throat> oh, I remember the jammer. Yeah, that yeah. that's they yeah. used to grab the jammer and they would and swing, the, they'd her swing her around yeah. to get her ahead of a oh, stupid, a right. real stupid sport. Okay, and um, I would think most of you got the the last one. Uh, the kitchen is right by the net in pickleball. No. Okay. Oh. What was what was the answer for the a grubby sport? What was the grubby sport? Oh my sport? god! Oh, uh, the grubby sport was, was uh, tug of war. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. What was number three, number four? Tennis or volleyball? You're gonna. You're not gonna live that one down. No. I'm not number, I don't know about pickleball. Uh, 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 the, number four was the uh, uh, hurlers. Hurling, and it, or hurling rather. Uh, really, watch watch that game sometime. It's 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 hysterical. I mean, the guy, these guys are out of their minds. It's it's uh, what's it called? Hurling, hurlers, and hurling, uh, hurling, hurling is the sport. hurling, hurling. I heard of hurlers and hurl hurling. Uh, used Think to watch of field it. hockey with the ball in the air and everyone swinging above their heads instead of. Down. But you can <laughs> swing it. You can swing it. You can check. Um, uh, you can bounce, they bounce the ball, you can run with it, you can, I think it, it, you can do almost anything with it. It's like, it's like a rugby's rug, uh, 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 Australian rules rugby with a stick. Yeah. You know, anyway. <laughs> and, and, and for the people who are watching this, the millions of people watching this, I was correct. It's not 16 inches in diameter, as Abby corrected, it's 16 inches in circumference. Oh, oh that makes dude. a whole difference now. I'm gonna change my yeah, hand. Uh, you know what? Wait, hang on. High times. I thought, what is your uh, diameter and radius? What are there? Diameter. Is... Well, sir, circumference is around like this. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, you so were holding your hands in front of like you this. and you said this is 16 inches in diameter, and that certainly was not 16 inches. Yeah. Well, well, okay, hang on. Would it have made a difference in your in your in your decision? No, we got it, we got it right. I just want to correct the record. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. I, I was thinking watching. about that, but that, that's it's not bigger thing. than a basketball. It yeah. is not. And that's and that well, that's why I was so good in school. Okay. Okay. It seems <laughs> a lot less <laughs> crazy now. <laughs> well, Alan was three? a math major. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you crack me up. What was number three? Lacrosse. I am box, so no, you, about that. box so lacrosse. There's a very there's a difference between lacrosse. Lacrosse is what you see the college kids playing out on the field. That is very genteel compared to uh, box lacrosse. Did uh, you have lacrosse I, as an option? No, it yeah. had to be. It, it, oh no. Just, I, uh, yeah, we got that one wrong. Asking about number three. Yeah. I thought it was rugby. No, we were wrong in that. Oh, box okay. lacrosse. Yeah, and it has to be box lacrosse. There's a, there's a difference. Okay. Going out, sweetie. Okay. Ah, kitchen. Hi, farmer. Where the kitchen is from shallow board. That's Karen. Oh, God, he says hi back. Hello, He's going out board. to kill the slug. What is shuttle board? You mean shuffle? shuffle board? There's a kitchen in it. Is there? Yeah, and I just looked it up. I said, what sport has, has Well, but kitchen? there's. But shuffleboard wasn't a. a I know, but right. I knew I'd heard it. But anyway, all yeah, right. Yeah, so the scores. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's anything. what I thought about albatross. I thought that's got to be a term in a bunch of different things. You know. I learned that from Wii Sports. Like yeah. a big goose egg. An albatross. Well, it's a, a, it's a saying about your albatross to bear. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's see how we're gonna do here. Rob is not a cat. Uh, wrong column, Susan. Rob is not a cat. <laughs> eight. 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 <clears throat> well done. Good, yeah. Okay. Up here for eight months. How are we going to vote? I think we got six. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, six. Yes, six. <laughs> sorry. Oh, come on, guys. Well, Wait, put would have been seven without the ball. Ten Let's get through trivia ball. before our team fades away. We have eight. Ooh, good job. Ooh. Uh oh. Roll. Oops. Uh, I, row. Okay. Roll. Crazy attracts crazy. Crank magnetism. We only got five. <gasps> oh, well done, oh. Carolyn, Janine, Ron, Kevin, and Gail. Comeback! Yeah. What a comeback! What a comeback! Six point eight is a, is the score on that one. That nice. was hard. Wow, that was really yeah. hard. Look at how good those scores were to each other. Most people, most teams kept people on the team. I mean, we lost very few players because we're we're ending so quick. Impressed. Thank you guys for. Following it did help that Ron's brother. Wrote the category. Yeah, and we yeah. could have probably used Jim for yeah, our I put a little last for the bonus. <laughs> hey, no. look at Rob is not a cat. That's no longer a cat. Oh, that's oh. a nice feature, not a cat. Oh. Wow, that's an incredible Rob filter you've got running there, Kitty. It's stuck. Ah. <laughs> if, if Rob starts hacking up a her fur ball, we know he's really a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know, know Carl. Carl. Is that? Is that a ninja cat behind you? This is ninja cat here. Oh, yeah, I say, I've never uh, seen ninja cat. I've only seen the lump. I've only seen him under the rug. Well, he seen like a, his Get ear up. or something. Look at that. That's a twin of my Peggy Sue. Hey, we have time for another round. And this is <laughs> Any go more jokes, that. Vincent? I'm going to watch CNN. I want to watch Any more again. jokes? Any uh, more jokes, uh, Vincent? All right. Good night, folks. All right. Good night, night everybody. Night. Have a wonderful everybody. Thank Bye you guys. Bye-bye now. Night. Good night.